Welcome to another video and welcome to another day in snowy North Dakota. It has been about a week since I made that last video drifting the GTR around in snow and we are getting more snow now. It cleared out for a little while but the snow is back. It snowed yesterday and is snowing a little bit right now. It is freezing cold outside. It's actually a lot warmer now than it has been most of the days. It's 26 degrees outside. It feels pretty warm compared to, to like the three degrees it was the other day. But anyways, that's enough weather reporting here from North Dakota. Let's talk about what this video is about. I've been hinting about it in some of my last videos, but we're going to Japan. We're going back to Japan. The amazing Japanese videos are going to return. We're going to get out of this snowy, ridiculous weather here in North Dakota. And we're going to be moving back. So, not real soon, not right away. I have about well, less than six months left on my military contract. And in May, I will officially be done with the Air Force, active duty at least, and we will be heading back to Japan, and we're going to be heading to Nagoya this time in mainland Japan, and we're going to be working at Garage Defend, and we're going to have some amazing videos. Dawson and I already have tons of videos planned, tons of content planned, and that actually brings me to my next point is we have a new YouTube channel for you all to subscribe to. Dustin decided to go ahead and kick it off right now since he's in Japan and I'll be helping with the channel whenever we arrive in May or June. May or June time frame. I get out in May. I think Mason finishes school at the end of May and we should be in Japan June or July time frame most likely. But anyways, the YouTube channel. Dustin right now, he just started it, but he's got a couple videos out already. It's just Garage Defend. I'll have the link to it in the description of this video. First thing for you to click on and go subscribe. We need you guys to subscribe. I'm sorry, it's cold out here, it's freezing. I don't know why I'm outside doing this. But we would just like to see you guys subscribe. I want a lot of you from this channel to go over to the new channel. And I, we're gonna have some amazing content planned whenever I make it over to Nagoya. And he right now already has endless amounts of content for you guys that he's going to be posting in the next few days. So go subscribe, show Dawson that you guys want to see some awesome videos from Japan. Garage Defend is the name. There's two Garage Defend Facebook or YouTube pages out there. So make sure you subscribe to both of them. The other one is basically just for posting uh, some walk around videos of some of the cars that come in for sale. I always link that one in the description of the videos, but I'll link both of them, that one and the one Dawson has started that is going to have seriously some of the best content from Japan on it. and. I can't wait to help be a part of that. So, with moving back to Japan, I have to figure out something to do with all of this stuff. Now, I already have the FRS up for sale. It's been for sale on Facebook for a few weeks now. I've had some hits. I've had some people that were really interested. Uh, excuse how dirty it is right now with this snow and stuff. I've been trying not to drive it, but have had to drive it to work a few times. But it's a great car. It's got 30,000 original miles on it. I am the first owner of the car. I bought it new in 2013. It has full exhaust, um, Borla unequal length headers, NVIDIA mid pipe and front pipe, and the NVIDIA N1 exhaust to the titanium tips. Real dirty. It's got the burnt titanium tips. I got a little for looks rear diffuser on there. BC Racing coilover is fully adjustable. XXR 527 wheels, 18 inch. Um, that I can't remember the offset on them right off the top of my head, um, but there's no spacers on there or anything. The offset's perfect for the car. The fitment is spot on. And interior, uh, pretty much all complete stock. Some LED lights in there and stuff that light up, but it's a super clean car. I mean, it's a perfect car for somebody. Uh, it's got a K and an air filter. It doesn't have any kind of intakes. I didn't put anything on there. Uh, but it's it's been babied the majority of its life. Uh, 30,000 miles, a lot of those came from highway miles between Sumter, South Carolina and Greenville, South Carolina when I still live there. I'm looking to get 15,200 off of that. It's That's a little bit below like perfect on Kelly Blue Book. There's a few little, not dents, but you know, little paint chips and stuff here and there. But overall, it's a really nice car. I'll put some pictures too of it actually clean so you guys can see what it looks like. But it is really nice car and I kind of will be sad to part ways with it when it does come time. But I decided it would be a good idea to go ahead and try to sell this one now and not wait until it's time to go back to Japan. Because there's really nothing I can do in this car once this stuff really starts coming down. Um, right now, I mean, it's pretty drivable with the amount of snow we've been getting. But this is still very early in the winter 
and we're going to be getting some serious snow and probably blizzards by the time this is all over. So, for sale. If one of you guys purchase it, I can even, for the right price, arrange to have it delivered to you. I have a trailer and I can tow it behind the Jeep. So, let me know. I'm in Minot, North Dakota. Not probably too many people up close to here, but $15,200 takes her home. She's a really good car and she'll be good for somebody. Now, what about this car? What do I do with this one? I'm really not sure yet. I haven't decided. So I'm not going to talk about it too much in this video. I've considered selling it. I've considered keeping it. Um, I'm going to hold on to it for now. I'm not going to list it for sale anytime soon. It'll probably be a few months if I decide to do that. But if I sold it, I could make my money back on it and obviously make a little bit of profit off of it from what I bought it for in Japan three years ago. But I don't know. I mean, it's been my baby for the last three years. It's going to be a tough decision. If I did sell it, I could put that money towards something when I get to Japan. I don't know. I probably wouldn't go too crazy and go probably R34 right away. But eventually that would be something I would like to work up to. Uh, but first, it would just be money that goes towards getting started in Japan, finding a, a good car in Japan. I don't know, I've considered maybe getting a drift car and then maybe just getting like a nice Toyota Hiace or something, just a nice van to get around in as a daily, but I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. We'll see. Let me know what you guys would do if you were potentially moving to Japan for anywhere from a year to the rest of your life. Uh, I just don't feel comfortable really, I don't think, storing it. It's not a car that should sit and be stored somewhere. If I left it with my parents, it would sit outside. It wouldn't have a garage spot right now. Um, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys would do. I have a lot of thinking to do on the GTR. And then obviously I'll be selling the Jeep whenever it comes time to get out of here. Um, it's a nice car. I think it's got around 80,000 miles now and it's the limited fully loaded but I'll, I'll do a video when it gets closer i need this car to get me through this ridiculous stuff before we sell it my dogs are so crazy in the snow they love it maria's laying down in the snow right now probably about to pounce on captain they definitely love this weather another thing mason and i recently started and if you ever subscribed to my channel a long time ago where i tried to separate you know japanese stuff from the japanese car side of things I created a channel called Your Car Bro Vlogs. Uh, I only did a few videos on it. There was a few cool videos, that actually got a decent amount of views, but I've turned that channel now into Mason's channel and he is absolutely loving making YouTube videos. He is doing video games on YouTube and he's playing a game called Roblox. I don't know, if any of you guys have kids, you probably know what the game is. It's kind of like a Minecraft, but it's a user created game. So there's tons of different games inside of Roblox. I actually enjoy playing a lot of them with him and I do some of the videos with him as well. But his name on YouTube is Mason in a Box. I'll also link that channel down below. If you guys have kids, go subscribe. It's super kid friendly and Mason just hangs out and plays uh, Roblox on his iPad or we'll do some other stuff too. Um, he's got a few other games we're gonna play, but he really enjoys it. He's been really enthusiastic about seeing some of you guys' comments and likes and stuff that are subscribed to the channel, so thank you for that. But Mason would definitely appreciate it if you go check out his channel and subscribe. So, a lot of th things to think about from this short video. Go subscribe to the Garage Defend YouTube, subscribe to Mason's YouTube, and somebody buy this sweet FRS. It's a great car and somebody will definitely love it. And I just need to sell it at some point. I'm not in a hurry. Um, I would like to get rid of it and free up a garage spot because I don't plan on driving it in the winter. And I'll probably be purchasing something else, like a beater, but she is for sale, and somebody will definitely enjoy it if they decide to make the purchase. Dog fight. Finish him. The snow brings out the fighting in them, too. They fight so much more now than the snow. Play fighting, of course. They love it. Captain's got her pinned pretty good right now. <laughs> they are ridiculous. There we go. You guys are crazy. You're crazy. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but the snow's actually starting to come down again pretty hard. I didn't even think it was supposed to snow today. I might end up having to shovel this driveway again. 
That's a really random, not snowy spot. That's weird. Anyways, I'm gonna quit babbling on now. So main point, go subscribe to the Garage Fin YouTube channel because I will be running that whenever I get over there and helping out with everything I can do with that channel. And I would love to see that channel grow and we're gonna have some really cool content coming out soon on it. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, thanks for watching.